Hey, Greg Silva. It's week three of Focus. We're gonna do something we've never done on Focus, probably since I've been doing these videos, which is like 20 years. Uh, we're gonna do a, a drill called the mindfulness. And the whole idea with this drill is to improve kids' memories or show them how they can improve their memories through proper focus. Um, so we're gonna start off and get some successes. So maybe you just do a triple punch. One, two, three, they've got that. And so guys, now we're gonna go high, low, center. So now they got high, low, center, ready and go. So the instructions are gonna go pretty fast. And you're gonna go, guys, today, we're really trying to, you know, sharpen our focus. So I want you to really focus on what I'm saying, listen to what I'm saying. And when I say go, you just do it. So they're doing that. So, okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a punch, we're gonna do a palm heel, and we're gonna do a spear hand. Ready and go. So they're gonna get these. These are pretty easy. They only have to memorize three things. But again, we're setting a foundation for success. Uh, maybe you, now you're gonna do a punch to one side, punch to one side, and then punch high. So you just kind of drill it up, drill it up, drill it up, and give them five or six of these type of drills. Uh, make them pretty easy. It's only like a triple punch. Uh, maybe you want to go on to kicks. It's okay. Now we're doing three kicks. We're going to do a front kick, a round kick, and a side kick, and go. And they have to do it really fast. Uh, you maybe even walk them through it. Say, okay, guys, fighting stance, front kick, back leg round kick, back leg side kick. Okay, on your own, do it. So we're showing them that by proper focus of their mind and proper proper focus of them watching, they can memorize these things. Then bring it up to four moves. So now they've got to do back fist, punch, round kick, side kick. Uh, give them something a little bit harder. Going up to like seven. Seven is usually doable for most kids. Because uh, seven is like if you're memorizing a phone number, you memorize three numbers and you re uh, memorize the next four numbers. Or if you're doing the area code, it's three numbers, three numbers, and four numbers. Those are uh, done to make it really, really easy uh, for people to learn. So again, the drill is called mindfulness, and you're proving to the kids that they can succeed in memorizing series of things very, very easy if they focus on you, focus their mind on you, focus their eyes on you, everything we've been teaching them all month, they're being able to do more things and they should be very proud of themselves. Now, it's really important that you give some feedback. Hey guys, I, I gotta tell you, I thought some of these drills were really hard. Man, you're showing me that you guys can do almost the impossible. So make them feel real good. Uh, give them some feedback. Be specific on feedback. Hey, if they don't get it, you know, all of a sudden you do five things and they don't get it, that's fine. You know, next time they will. Or we gotta just try a little bit harder. You gotta focus a little more. You know, say those things to yourself when I do it. So if I say front kick, side kick, round kick, in your head say front kick, side kick, round kick, front kick, side kick, round kick, and you'll be able to do that. So we're teaching them how to put combinations together. That's the martial arts drill. But the real purpose is by utilizing the techniques we taught them, breaking things down, doing one thing at a time, and really focusing with your ears and your mind, they're gonna be able to start memorizing com uh, combinations. If they can memorize combinations, they can do the same thing when you go to the school. If it's memorizing the multiplication tables, hey, that's easy, guys. You probably can do it three at a time. You know, three times one, three times two, three times three. Memorize all those, and then we're going on to something uh, a little bit different. So that's the physical drill. Again, to empower our students, it's important to go over and over and over again, talk about mindfulness, talk about techniques to help with memory. Talking to yourself is really good. In fact, uh, if you've ever seen a school do star block set and they go up, in, out, touch, down, back, push down. I started that probably 25 years ago to make it easier for the kids to learn star block set. And I told them that, hey, you know, when I was growing up, I had a hard time memorizing stuff. So I used to not only memorize the moves, but I had to memorize the words. So if I talked to myself, it helped with my memory. It might do the same for you. And that's where I came up with that. And now there's schools all around the world doing up, in, out, touch, down, back, push down, as Starbucks said. So enjoy it. It really works for the kids. The drill is called mindfulness. I really like to have a, that label to it because, you know, it's... Um, it sounds like it's very, very important, which it is, but it also shows the parents that you're teaching stronger techniques, um, mindfulness techniques that are helping the kids 
inside the martial arts school and of course outside the martial arts school enjoy have fun send videos give me feedback thank you